Okay? Even if this escape does work, okay, the harder he explodes, one, he's wasting a lot of energy. Two, if you're not used to exploding without holding your breath, it tells me that something's gonna happen. Right? So even if my arm ends up under his head, if he holds his breath and goes and then explodes, right? I'm gonna be able to rest for it. Okay? So if my arm's trapped underneath his head and he holds his breath and he goes ahead and explodes, go ahead. Boom, right? If he goes up and over that shoulder, I'm gonna be able to start sliding up and attacking arms. Right? Because all I have to do is keep my hips pointed at the ground. Okay? If he goes ahead and goes explodes and gets his arm all the way over the top, right? Go ahead and explode. Right? Boom! Yep, he traps. Keep going, keep going like you're stubborn, like you're stubborn, like you're stubborn. His arm goes by, that's fine. I just sit my hips back. If he goes to his knees, I take his back, and if he falls back, now he wasted all this energy, and now my cup's driving into his ribs, right? So the open escape is very simple, but if you have to explode to do it, you're gonna waste a lot of energy that may or may not end up winning, okay? Now, let's say he does explode and he does everything right. Go ahead and do your explode, boom, right? He goes up and over, I'm gonna keep his head away, right? I'm gonna trip away. I'm gonna take that foot over his face. All right? Can you back, please? All right? Now, obviously, I need to time it because if he retracts his hand, then I'm gonna lose it. That's the overhook. Boom. I'm gonna move away. Trip. Keep that foot over the top. Take the almost five. You kind of like have it for a second there, and then. Yep. Yeah. I'm, Focusing on that arm, hooking the back of his shoulder. Even if he does start to pull his arm back, right? My heel in his armpit will act as a little hook for him. Okay, well, and the harder I make him fight for that, that overhook, right? Lift his hips up. Okay, go ahead. All right, make him fight it. See? You see? The harder I make him fight for it, pull my foot free, chop, sit up, Hips away, and it finishes. Right. If I just go with it and give up guard, which a lot of us have the habit of, we get rolled over, oh, I lost the sweep, now I gotta start over from guard. In transition is most often the best time to catch the mission. Because right? they're not necessarily thinking about everything, they're thinking about the next position, not thinking about where they are in the transition, where their limbs are necessary. Yeah? So how do you? In Nogi, how do you trap that arm to the Omoplata? I have never done it. I've never been able to do it in Nogi. Mm -hmm. Here? Yeah. So when that foot comes over, I'm trapping his foot, or trapping his hand in my pocket as my foot comes over. And, and you're like weight curling? Yep, 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 I'm curling, and then I'm getting my arm up and over the top. Oh. So the crease of my hip is what holds it in there. Oh, I see. Right, because now his hand's got to come up over his back in order to come out, yeah. right? Or his shoulder's got to turn away. And that's why I've got to be moving around towards his head at the same time I move my feet away, yeah. right? If my feet follow after him, go ahead and turn your shoulder out, Derek. Yep, now go ahead and let go and take your arm out. Boom, now we can limp arm. Oh, and lose it. You see? So I've got to make sure that my hip and my <laughs> my hip and my my feet are moving away from his head, but my hip is also moving away, and that's what pulls him over onto his side. Okay. And I may have to use that second hand to trap it. I may have to use the same side hand to trap it and risk them rolling out. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Either one can happen. Okay. But getting my hip out and away so that I'm looking at their back is a big is a big key. And I'm sitting forward on top of them. Right? I want to get my feet pointed away from them as quickly as possible. All right. Questions? So just go back to the first hoop escape. You don't, if you want to do all three steps, go for it. If you just want to do it off the first, that's fine. But as the bridge up and over, boom, right here, you should be hooking their armpit with your heel, pushing off the face, and taking that off. Yes? Can you do one more time, please? Yeah. Let's go all the way through. Yep, boom. Right. I limp arm out. He's going to go to his elbow escape. Here, I hook his head. My arm is trapped now. So he's going to bridge, push. Rear leg here comes in front of his face. And I use that to push his face away. So his hand is under my armpit. 
right? Throw my arm, chop my leg, whatever it takes to sit up, shoot my arm over the top. Now my belly's holding his hand in place. You see, I switch my hips away, pull his hip towards me as I move away. Feet, hip forward. Knee comes to the ground, I'm not going over his back, right? I'm going forward, right? As many times as I need, right? Until he hates being my dumb. The first time you did that, Ian, you also went under his opposite side shoulder. With yeah, you can go under the arm, you can go under the head, you can go under both. Is that right? you grab the back more just making it tighter? What's that? Is that locking him in more so he can't escape or so he's making it more It keeps him from turning his shoulders away and also sets on my back like the time. What did you do?